This uh, video tutorial is in response to a request how to make a video cube in motion and have it available in Final Cut. There's an easy way and a hard way and this video is going to be the easy way. So let's get started. And I decided that a title would be a perfect way to do this. It comes with a built-in drop zone for whatever's in the storyline and it provides text. And if you're going to have all of that black space around the animation, then sometimes you want text. You don't have to use it, but it'll be there if you need it. So we start a title. And I'm going to Shift Z to show the entire canvas. I'm going to turn off the text for now. And add a camera. Now all we need to do is mask this into a square. So I'm going to select the title background, select the little mask tool here, go to approximately the center, hold down the option and shift key and drag out to the approximate size of the canvas. And I've got a nice perfect square. Now to make sure this fits the 1080 format, I'm actually going to set all of these values manually so they will be as precise as possible and all of the values that you need are going to be 539.5 so I'm going to start with minus 539.5 and I'm just going to type all of these in I just tab between the values and start typing paying attention to where the minus signs are so that I don't screw something up. And minus 5, 39.5. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is get into the perspective view so that we can see what we're doing. And I'll grab hold of this little dolly control and drag this out a little bit and then I'm going to turn my view so I can see what's going on. Now with the title background selected we'll head on over to properties and turn down the anchor point property and I want this to be minus 540. Okay, so now we're half the distance of the height out into space. Now all you need to do is type the K key and create a clone. And then we'll go over into the transform rotation and we're going to rotate this one minus 90 degrees and you see that it's rotated sometimes you have to type in the value and you see that it rotates with respect to the anchor point so now I have two sides of the video that are perfectly aligned so I'm just going to continue to do this for all six sides the next one this one will be 180 degrees and repeat this one will be 90 degrees repeat now I'm going to rotate on the x-axis minus 90 degrees that'll be the top and again I have to type it in and one more time and this one will be 90 degrees X and it's on the bottom so now we have our basic video cube now for the text let's go ahead and create a new group we'll just drag the text up into the group here we can turn it back on 
uh, let's make this group 2D so that it's always flat with the surface of the canvas in Final Cut. So no matter what angle you're looking at the video cube, the text will always be, you know, conveniently located. So let's go back into the active camera. And no matter where the cube is in space, the text will always be in front of it. Okay, so now all we have to do is publish some parameters for Final Cut. And what we're going to do to control all of these layers, let's go back into perspective, is publish the transforms for the group. And we can publish the position and the rotation. And if we go into the project, properties here, we can see that everything moves together when the group is published. And I'll just reset those. And a fun thing to do for this particular project would be to publish some of these camera parameters. So I'm going to hit and publish these. So let's publish our project. We'll go to Save. I created a category called Video Cubes. It makes it easy to find. We'll just type Simple Video Cube and publish it. Heading on over to um, Final Cut in the titles and the video cubes category that we created we find our simple video cube title and we'll just line it up over the video we want to affect now if you have more than one clip here you can just drag this out and all the clips that are in the storyline will be part of the video cube so if I were to add this one and drag this out here The cube will actually pick up all of that. Let's shorten this a little bit so that we have everything. There's some dark frames. Okay. Let's um, take the cube out into space there a little bit by dragging down on the Z. We'll rotate it. And if we play with the camera controls, we can fade our videos like this. So it's kind of a cool effect, really. And let's animate this. I'll type the up arrow key with the video cube title selected to line it up with the first frame. And let's uh, keyframe. It's just keyframe position, keyframe rotation, and let's do a little tiny angle of view. And then we'll go to the end here. And I want to just go ahead and keyframe all of these again. And let's go back to the beginning. I want to end with this view, so I'll go back to the beginning and we can change the X a little. Let's have it come in from the left. I want to see it a little bit there. Let's start with a up view like that. A little turn. And angle of view. and Z. All right. Okay. There you have it. Simple video cube. Animatable. Special effects. Some fade.
and you have the text for the title in which you can double click on that this particular text has got the full text edit inside here so you can add tabs and stuff like that and you can change this in motion but that's a tutorial for another day Hope you find this useful. It's a simple little project. The next video cube tutorial will be wrapping video around a cube, which is a little bit more complicated and there's some other issues that have to be dealt with. So for now, this is pretty cool. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you have fun with this and I'll catch you on the next one.